all right look what we found here so we came up about three feet and we found no last and plaster well we found last but we didn't find plaster and then lo and behold look what we found we found plaster so there's a couple layers there's like 14 layers of old wallpaper on there and then a cement um, cement and uh, it's a plaster is basically what it is we don't know typically in the 1880s when this house was built typically they didn't use asbestos in plaster they really uh, in all the research I did it was typically the 1940s to the 1970s that was the big use of asbestos in plaster you see it as early as 1910 and as late as into the late 1980s but for the most part it was the 40s to the 70s so this house could have been renovated um, sometime during that time so we just don't know so I always like to err on the side of caution in these things so what I did is I actually as you can see I took a chunk right there and I sent it to Pynchon Laboratories in Mississauga Ontario and they tested it for asbestos and uh, the first layer came back negative so there's no asbestos in it whatsoever but the second layer came back with very very minute traces of asbestos so they said it is well below the provincial standard or not well below but well above so meaning that there's so little asbestos in it the the uh, provincial standards don't care so we can treat it as if it was not even existent so anyway so that's what we're dealing with now and so we're going to continue taking up the drywall. See, so I cut the drywall there because I really didn't want to disturb anything just in case there was a uh, lath and plaster in behind. Because below, down there, you can see I've, I've cleaned that all up. And they say you should use a HEPA filter in your vacuum and that. Um, use it for, use a fine dust filter. And I have uh, pretty heavy duty shop backs. I have a number of them. Just, just in case one kicks the bucket, I got another one. Um, and so I use that to clean it up. Don't use your household vacuum because if there is any kind of asbestos in it, it's pretty hard to get those uh, uh, particles out of your vacuum. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to proceed as, uh, as I was going in the first place, as if it's not there. But I am going to do uh, some pretty heavy protection. I am going to drape heavy plastic all over the, the wall and down, down to the floor. I'm going to tape it all off the floor here. I'm going to tape it off to the walls and uh, make sure that uh, do my very best not to get it uh, floating around the house. I probably will even uh, put plastic on the floor and underneath my wonderful pizza box there, my Delicio, because you know that's the kind we choose, um, I'm going to uh, seal that all off too. I'm going to put heavy plastic on it and then I'm going to use tuck tape to, uh, to seal that all off because technical tape, which is another name for it, it has it's super uh, super sticky and we use that for sealing off vapor barriers and house wraps so anyways um so that's our next step so if you run into issues like that then you know err on the side of caution it was wasn't really that much it cost me a hundred bucks to have it done in 24 hours for the testing for one sample and uh it cost me 30 bucks to have it couriered down to mississauga from where i live which is about two hours away well worth every penny so 130 bucks plus tax i'm done and then i know i'm confident i know that i don't have to worry too much i am going to suit up i am going to use a, uh, a suit and i'm going to use a respirator with appropriate mask and uh, seal everything up so my toughest part is i got a beard and it's going to be hard to seal it up so i've looked at a few tricks and tips to to figure out how to seal it up as best i can but I'm a little less worried now that there's no, not really any asbestos in it. So, anywho, until next time, uh, keep on renovating, and uh, we'll see you on the next uh, next little clip. And uh, stay tuned. Thanks.